In this video, I'm going to go over the improved toolpath preview functionality in Mastercam 2023. This is a valuable tool that helps us build our toolpath without ever leaving the dialog box. So here you can see I already have toolpaths pre-made. For toolpath number one, I'm going to go into the parameters. I can scooch this over so I can see more directly what I'm doing. And anytime I make a change in here, so for example, if I wanted to add depth of cuts to this, I can now click apply. And what that'll do is it'll give me a preview of exactly what I'm looking at. So here I can see that my linking strategy is not correct. And also my lead and lead out is likely going to run into that wall. So I can rectify these without ever leaving this toolpath dialogue in order to streamline my programming process. So first let's look at our lead and lead out. We'll shorten this line and we'll give it a bigger sweep angle. I'll apply that change. Now that looks good. Next is going to be to fix my linking. So I'll go to my linking parameters and in here my retract looks like it needs to be bigger. So I'll force that to be 0.5. Again, click apply. Now my toolpath looks like it's good to go. I can click OK and I have it all ready to go without ever having to go back in and out. This is also valid on 3D toolpaths as well. So here I have a waterline toolpath where we can see that we're cutting the inside, whereas all I want to do is cut the outside. Under my parameters, in this case again, I'll just move this over so I can see it quite clearly. And all I want to do is I want to go to my toolpath control. I'm going to add a boundary here and let's apply that change. Okay, so that applied that change. It took away my cutting inside the middle. Now let's say I'm not quite fully happy with this. I wanted to come down all the way. I can see it won't quite do that. So I'm going to change my containment to my tool contact point versus my tool tip. Click apply. Now that looks good to me. I'm happy with that change. So I'm just going to click OK. So again, a really valuable tool to build up that toolpath while you're staying within that dialog box. So lastly, what I'll do is I'll just show one unified toolpath where we're going to basically start that from start to finish. So I'm going to grab unified. In this case, I'm going to use this 1 8 ball. I'm going to go to my cut pattern. Again, I'm going to zoom into the area that I want to focus on, which is going to be this area here. Select my machining geometries. And then apply. So here I can see I'm going maybe in the wrong direction. So I'm going to add a guide curve. I'm going to choose this top edge. And then apply. Okay, so that looks okay, but maybe not great. So I'm going to change that from just a guide curve strategy to a morph strategy by adding a secondary curve. So let's add another curve. And we're going to change our strategy to morph. Now I'm going to apply that. That looks like a nice toolpath, something good to start with. And then from there, I'm going to go ahead, backplot it and see if I need to make any changes to my axis. Um, control, which obviously I cannot see based off of just my lines here from my toolpath movement. So that looks okay. If we needed to go in, we would go in and change our access control.